The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to bring glad tidings to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim liberty to captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to let the oppressed go free, and to proclaim a year acceptable to the Lord. Words of the prophet Isaiah, quoted by our Lord Jesus in today's gospel. These words were among the very first words that Jesus spoke as he proclaimed his public ministry. Notice the message from the very beginning. Jesus was anointed for the poor, the captives, the blind, and the oppressed. This was to be a major theme of the teaching of Jesus over the next three years. We must take care of the less fortunate, and that's all there is to it. The world can be divided up in two ways, the haves and the have-nots. The haves are people like you and me who lack none of the basic necessities for decent living. The have-nots are all those people who do lack the basic necessities, like those with severe disabilities, those who are oppressed by abusive governments, those who live in poverty in the USA and other first and second world countries, and those who live in destitution in Haiti and the other third world countries of our world. We must take care of the less fortunate. That's all there is to it. But why? First, Jesus said we must. Second, it's simply the right thing to do. And third, in numerous places in the gospel, Jesus tells us that the first will be last and the last will be first. Mix that in with the last judgment scene in Matthew's Gospel, chapter 25, where Jesus invites the righteous into the kingdom of God because he said, I was hungry and you gave me food, thirsty, you gave me drink, naked and you clothed me, ill or in prison and you visited me. And the just asked him, when did we do this? And Jesus responds, as often as you did it, for one of these least ones, you did it for me. And then Jesus condemns the wicked because he said, I was hungry and you did not feed me. Thirsty, you gave me no drink. Naked, ill, or in prison, and you did not care for me. And likewise, the wicked will say, when? And Jesus responds, Whenever you did not do it for one of these least ones, you did not do it for me. Now, mix in the gospel passage where Jesus said, How hard it is for the rich to enter the kingdom of God. It is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. Put all that together now. And here's what the scripture tells us. The have-nots are going to heaven automatically because of their horrible plight on earth. The Haitians are going to heaven automatically because of their horrible plight on earth. Now how do we get in, the haves? The way the haves can get into heaven is only if the have-nots take them with them. 
it's the have-nots who will be manning the gates of heaven. And let's hope, when we get there, the have-nots will open the gates for us and say to Jesus, yes, Lord, you can let them in. They took care of us. Amen.